we up here, uh, Adventure Time. It is mid June, July 15th, actually, like, kind of like exactly mid June. Uh, up at Linville Gorge, got out up here a little late at work today, so kind of skated up here after work. Uh, so I'm just gonna set up camp for tonight right here on Highway 105 somewhere. It's already getting late. Raining, starting to rain, uh, and then we're gonna wake up tomorrow. Wake up tomorrow early, and uh, we're gonna tackle this Hawksbill uh, trail that I've been wanting to do. And on my last uh, hiking video, it's the one I said I was gonna do next, so I'm sticking to it. Tomorrow it should be clear, no rain. Uh, lows tonight are gonna get down into the upper 50s. Uh, middle of July, can't beat that. Uh, our highs tomorrow will be in the low 70s while we're hiking. Uh, so it should be a nice, nice day. I'm going to have my hammock with me. I don't have the truck actually set up in. Uh, the cold air. I don't have the truck set up, the GX set up in the uh, in camp mode. I, mean, I, could, I could probably get it working if I need to sleep in the truck. I could. I do have a couple tarps with me. Uh, I have my hammock. If I can find a, a campsite, I know a couple of them in here. I can back the truck up close to some trees. I could probably open up the back of the tailgate or the, the barn door back there and set up my hammock back behind it and run a tarp off the back of the truck and have my, a nice little living area. And it stays cool enough out and you know, I get a little fire going, bugs away. Uh, it could be a nice night's nice sleep. I'm not starting on the Hawksbill side though, so a lot of people. There's an easier way to do it. You can drive over to the other side of the gorge, looks like. I mean, it's only like a mile and a half hike up and back. Uh, the way I'm doing it from this side of the gorge, let's uh, spread it out. Uh, it probably is going to be more like a 10 mile, 10 mile loop that I'm going to have to do tomorrow. And it's there's just a lot of climbing. I got to climb all the way down to the bottom of the gorge at one point and then climb back up all the way to the, geez, the peak of uh, Hawksbill. All these campsites got a lot of water in them. It's got a lot more rain up here. We haven't had any rain. It's coming from all these campsites are like flooded out, muddy. We're at 30, 3,700 feet. So we're right around where I want to be. All right, I'm sign off until I get to find a campsite, and then uh, we'll uh, come to Highway 105. You got this turn off here. It drops down. When it drops down, I'll show up on camera. This gets pretty steep. Really loose gravel here. If it's the winter time, you know, I have a video of that, me getting out of here. We're almost back in the Tacoma. So yeah, this is the rock right here. This bad boy. I came down like this. Again, this was all ice and snow, so you couldn't even see the road. And I was slid in this one a little bit of snow. We got a little bit. Oh, we slipping and sliding, baby. It's a good thing we did that little gulches run to get some practice. Going up that bank at the end is going to be a little tricky. I'm going to have to air down the tires. I think will be fine. Slow and steady wins the race. Man, it's pretty though. I cannot see any of the rocks underneath the ground. Just that last part right there, it's gonna be the tricky one. I assume snow is not much different than mud. Yeah, like a glove, baby, like a glove, except I stopped and lost my momentum, which I shouldn't have done. I know better than that. <sighs> I should have just kept going, but I was afraid a truck would be coming.
your tires can take it. I can't get traction up, and I can't maneuver around this rock. I'm gonna hit that rock. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think the tires can take it. No, that'll go right on up to the back of the truck. It's too tall. Oh, come here. Crap. I'm gonna do some traction boards. Even with no snow on it, this thing's pretty. Got some articulation in here. This is all going downhill right now. As I said, so it doesn't show my camera very well. So coming back out is the harder part because you're going uphill on this. You got these sections here. I might have, might even bottom out a little bit up here at one point earlier. Going over all this, that's probably the toughest. First toughest part, the exit part, that part, and then down here at the bottom. So it means those rocks all have ice and they're snow covering, you can't see them. You're just hoping you don't, you're hitting the right area. It's been really dry out, even with this rain. There's usually like a little creek running through here, so you get a little water. And there's usually another little creek running right here. And you gotta dip down into some water. Come back out, got some big puddles up here. Nothing too crazy. And it opens up. All right, I got some kind of poking through, clouds are going by, rain stopping. Just getting a little bit of drips from the trees. So that's good. Uh, I hurried up and threw up the tarp off the back of the GX got the grill started up. It's about six o'clock, so I cook these steaks up. We'll steak and potatoes. Um, I can set the hammock up right here. So if I want to sleep in the hammock tonight, put it right there. I got another tarp to go over the hammock. So this becomes a whole giant kind of like living space. But for now, I got my table down. I need to get a new tarp. This thing's on its last leg. It's a few years old now, so it's lasted a while. These poles, the elephant poles on each side, give you that elevation. We're going to have to walk to the campsite here. The fire pit's a little more of a pool right now. So, don't worry about it. GX, the tarp's up. Steak I just took off the grill. It's a little well done. If I'm any seasonings, it's kind of bumming me out a little bit. You have the hammock set up in my chair. A bridge hammock. I'll put the tarp up on it. I'll probably end up see my breath out here already <sighs> not that cold what is it in the 60s Put the tarp up i'll put the under quilt on there should i'm at about 4,000 feet of elevation so it'll probably drop it to the 50s uh tonight so i get a little chilly i want a little insulation don't have to go too crazy or i could knock down the seats in there and set the camp in the truck we'll see how i feel hammock is comfy i'll probably hang out in the truck for a little bit Sleep in a hammock because you got more room in the truck. I had two steaks when I fell on the ground. Last time I was up here, I was grilling two steaks when I fell on the ground. You coming to think? I need to plot out my map right for tomorrow. There, obviously, where the little arrow is on this right near the Laurel Knob. Kind of at the peak here. I got to hike down all the way down the valley to the river. So Linville, yeah, Linville Gorge River, Linville River. And then I gotta hike back up to Hawksbill Mountain here. So, probably gonna be about two, well, if you count the there and back, it's gonna be about four to 5,000 feet of climbing. Cause I, it's gonna be about 2,000 there and 2,000 back at least. Cause I gotta go all the way to the bottom of the valley and then all the way back up twice. And that should be fun. I'm just gonna figure out the 
me figure out the path I'm gonna take here. All right, we got a couple mosquitoes going on here. Let me use them all a little Picardin insect repellent packets I bring with me. That'll help me out. Getting creative with my, my taters. Uh, I bought the potatoes, but I forgot to bring any kind of seasoning or cheese that I was gonna put on them. Um, so I had some Easy Mac in there to go with that Easy Mac cheese powder. Do that in there with some, uh, some flaming hot Doritos mixed in there. Smash that up into potatoes, and man, that's uh, that's not that good, really. I thought it would be better. It's kind of bland still. A little kick to it though. Seven o'clock on the dot in the drop top, cruising the streets. We'll say the one downside to this this site is you don't have any views, so that's kind of that's kind of a bummer. Because if you're just sitting here at camp, kind of relaxing, I'd like to have a nice view of the sun over the... But the last time I was up here, I had that spot right up on the ridge. It was a very small spot, and it's right off the road, but it had a great view. Um, so this one's secluded. You have your own water source. You have a cool field over there, which I'll show you later on when it gets dark. As long as the clouds stay away. Uh, you can get some really good shots. The stars and stuff. Uh, I got a little fire going here. Uh, Join a little beverage. Uh, I have my iPad with me, so probably watch a little. <sighs> See that? It's July 15th. <laughs> I'm sitting next to a fire and you can see my breath. It's really not that cold out. It's uh, I think it's only it's only in like the 60s. Uh, there's a few bugs out here, so I got the fire going. A lot of the wood around here is wet. This little fire pit's awesome. It, I would recommend this one. I'll put a link in the description down below where I got that. I've had some people ask me about it. The only problem with it is I ruined it kind of the first time I used it. I think I used it once. It was fine. It's like the second time I used it. We took it out to Cape Cape Lookout, the beach trip that I did uh, last summer. So the wind was blowing really bad. There was just sand it was everywhere. Inside. I don't know if you can hear me. It's a little breezy. Sand got all in this thing because it's got uh, hinges and joints on it to fold it up, and uh, a bunch of sand got into the joints and the hinges and. Uh, after that it kind of they all popped out so the sand kind of tore it up it's my own fault so i won't put that on the uh the grill itself so i would say avoid sandy areas and uh rinse it down really good when you get done to get all the any kind of sand or grit out of it so that the hinges because once that, any kind of stuff gets in those hinges it causes an issue but i had a little bit of charcoal left over from making my dinner um so I'd do that in there and a bunch of wet wood on top because everything around here is wet because it was raining earlier but it's it's starting to burn through it and plus that's kind of good because the wet wood creates smoke smoke get, what keeps away the bugs because it's not not quite cold enough to keep the bugs away yet it should dip into the 50s tonight and then i think the bugs will be a non-issue i don't think there's any rain in the forecast i'm probably going to sleep I'll probably sleep in the hammock without the, I have the tarp set up, I can pull it over, but I kind of have it retracted back, so uh, I don't have to have the tarp over me, and I can, if I need to, I can pull it over me, but the hammock's really comfortable. I could sleep in the back of the car, I have it set up to sleep in it, uh, kind of, it's a little small right now because I don't have the back seat out, the second back seat out, so if I was going to sleep in the car, I'd have to leave this the barn door open on the back to fit and if there's no bugs it's not an issue but if there are bugs that can be kind of an issue but honestly I don't really come out when it's too buggy I, I don't if it's hot if it's, it's if it's warm enough for there to be a bug problem at night I'm usually not going to be out here I did figure out my trail tomorrow Actually, not that far from the trailhead I'm going to start on. So in the morning, I'm going to get up. Uh, and since I'm already out here, that's the advantage. Because if you come out here on the weekends, you know, tomorrow's a Saturday. This place is going to, it gets busy up in this area. 
um, to the Keys to get here early. Obviously, I'm going to be one of the earliest people here because I'm already here. Um, so I can get up early to trailhead that I got to go to is right here. I just got to get out of here and go not even a half a mile to repark my truck. And then I'll jump on this trail. It's going to drop me down to the Linville River. I'll follow the river a little ways until I go to Devil's... I forgot some weird name, like Devil's Crack or something, something weird. And I'll take the Devil's Crack and I'll cross the Linville River. And then I'll start hiking back up about a 2,000 feet climb to Hawksbill. I'll summit Haw Hawksbill, hang out there for a minute, take some pictures. Um, then I'll make my way back down because it'll be an out and back. I'm not going to lose it. So the whole hike will be about 10 miles. It's going to be a little less than 10 miles. I think it's 4.7 there, 4.7 back. Uh, and then it's about 2,000 feet of elevation there, 2,000 feet of elevation back. So I'll be doing about 4,000 feet of elevation over 10 miles. Not not too bad. It'll be it'll be fun. Uh, obviously, it always depends on where that elevate, how spread out the elevation is. And if I know Linville Gorge, it's not spread out very much. It's usually pretty much vertical up. And you're flat for a little bit, and then you're vertical down, and vertical up. So it's like everything's kind of vertical because you're in a, a, a giant valley. I mean, it's basically the, they call it the Grand Canyon of the East Coast. Cool thing about having a truck here and everything, camping out here like this, is I'm not going to have to carry a big pack. I'll be carrying my day pack tomorrow. So I'll be really lightweight. If I get out there early, I'll be out there. I'll get it done, be back to the truck probably. I'll get that done by 3 o'clock, depending on when I start. Jump in the truck, head back home, be home by dinner time tomorrow. I'm shooting for. What'd you do? You come out in the woods? And you watch YouTube videos about hey, other people everybody. hiking. Syntax 77 here. And Syntax here, 77. I mean, Man. the great state of New Hampshire, about a mile away from There's trailhead. There's bugs on my screen. About three days off. Anyway. It's the beginning of June. Gonna do some hammock camping. Watch the video, backpacking. get a little inspiration. Good morning, world. Hey, man. It's uh, about 7 a.m. You know, just crashing in the back of the truck. I was just sitting here watching stuff on my iPad. Yeah, I kind of fell asleep. And I uh, didn't feel like getting up in the middle of the night and going over to the hammock. So I just stayed in here. Just a little... This, the seat's still in, so it makes it a little tight fit. But, yeah, made it work. It's actually pretty cold. I got my down blanket in here. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, probably definitely down in the 50s out there. Because uh, I'm actually chilly inside the truck here. So We're going to get up, get packed up, get over to this trailhead. Doing Hawks Bill today. Hawks Bill. It's because it looks like a Hawks. Alright, use the hammock. Set it up. It's all good. Back out. Back at it. Uh, getting out of camp at about 8 o'clock. Did drop down to about 63, 62 was the low that my watch recorded last night. So, nice little cool night. We're going to head over here. Got everything packed up. <coughs> my day pack is good to go. I got some extra water I'm going to bring in on this. I didn't bring any snacks. I don't eat breakfast. I'm not really going to eat lunch. So I'm going to power through this hike. 10 miles. No snacks, no food. Plenty of water. And energy drink powders and things like that. We'll live. I've got a couple extra pounds to spare. But, uh, I'll be for a good late lunch or early dinner when I get done. I'm going to drive back out of this thing. Probably go ahead and... Oh, it's still in low range. I'll go ahead and lock it up just to be safe.
steer. We'll avoid some big rocks. Like I said, if you think about this trail, I'm doing a winter time. This all gets covered with snow. You can't see these rocks. And so you just, you gotta kinda hope you got the ground clearance. Pretty much all Highway 105 you can do in a, a car. Um, I've seen plenty of them up here. I think I seen a Corolla last night. These little offshoot trails, some of these I definitely wouldn't recommend doing this in a Corolla or a Civic. You would definitely bottom out. Maybe a lifted one. Yeah, like right here. I'm gonna hug this side. Put my tire on our rock there. Thank you.